Aha. Do you visit monarch costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, I didn't have anything to do with your mugging inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan at some point told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So when he saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favour by uh, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best examples. So what's on the DVD that's so special? All right, it was something I did myself, a little stunt I pulled to amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasised the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I... I would show them how it was done. Oh, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards. No harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. Now, if you don't mind, you'd have to excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. See, he was quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. questions, if you don't mind. Did you know about Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last party he threw? Um, sometime in the summer. I didn't stay long. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then? <sighs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at Third Eye? Yes. 
Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? No. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right. What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you could do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. No, I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. So, you witnessed Paul's money-stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died? No. Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, even though you were there on that night? Mm, no. Emma. I think you better explain, don't you? Well, it was the stupid course, wasn't it? Go on. <sighs> well, we were all told to do stupid things and... and then that thieving thing happened and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. Why? Um... Liam had a a birthmark on the side of his face and no one would mention anything even though we all knew it was there and we all thought they all thought it was ugly and so I thought I'd say something and I I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it what did he say? he said he wouldn't mind Then Liam killed himself. Liam's dead because of me. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. It wasn't your fault. We can't tell Simon, please. Simon doesn't need to know. Don't worry. Thank you. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I blame the Rands before I blame her. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it, hell. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all.
You say you didn't know Emma. Uh, yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her, and quite well too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking. And I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. It was a stupid mistake, but that's all it was. So you're saying you tried it on with her? No, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So, nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. All right. Like father, like son. No surprises there. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. Questions, please. Thank you. Be back later on, if that's okay. Ask you a couple more things, please. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. questions, if you don't mind. Thank you. Probably be back later. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What, did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone, or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students? Well, we didn't do anything like that, but... You have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. It seems a bit odd for a business course. It works, though.
Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't know why I never remember to buy one. Ask about a few more things, please. So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the court. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality is quite simple, but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She, she quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past. Particularly you, by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. I didn't realise you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Oh, uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. When I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Aren't they all called Something Stone? Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? No. Well, what would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop. Yes, we used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes, for the course at the end of each stage. We have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new. Their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act. How to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. 
I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What it does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Oh, not at this stage. <laughs> What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe? <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple, unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticising Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. 